All right, so this one is a little bit different because it says it's toy theater, and then it says pick one uh, that will be both fun and challenging for you. Type the name of the activity that you picked. For example, did you work with Build or Animation Station or Doodle, Van Gogh, etc.? So when I click here, uh, this site is super cool because there are so many different options that you can pick from. And some of these options are um, not as challenging for a middle schooler. So please make sure that you are picking something that is um, going to be interesting for you to actually work on. So let's see what Matisse is up to. Okay, so um, this site is really neat because all of the directions are right here. Um, what happens when I click full screen? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so then it makes it nice and large. Um, it talks about who he is um, so you can have a better understanding of him as an artist. And then you can click on Oh, okay. So I just get to draw right on top. All right. See, I thought what it was is it would actually change um, some of these in here. All right. So that's one. Um, so you get to doodle right on top. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to press escape and I'm going to use the back arrow and the back arrow. I'm going to click on another one. So these are a bunch of different artists, which is really awesome. Uh, so here we have another one. And now that I'm understanding what we're doing here. Oh, that's so cool. So I can come up here and I could click different artwork that he created. And then choose which one I want to work on. And then I can pick a color and a size. And then that's my attempt at music notes and then I can draw. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go back and so whenever you see this doodle, these are, um, well down here, these, you can just doodle right on top of the animal, but these ones are actually artists. So you get to see their work, you get to learn a little bit about them and then, um, add some details to their work, which I think is really cool. Um, and then up here, this build I thought was really neat. So I can click on it. And then I can start to build. Um, and you can change colors. Uh, there's lots of different options here. All right. So this one I thought was really neat. This was the one that I um, played around with a little bit more. And then let me go back. And there's one more that I wanted to show you guys, which I thought was super cool. And it's this animation station. Um, I haven't gone on to every single one of these. So um, definitely check them out. But again, if it's something that's super simple um, and it looks like something that you could have done in elementary or it looks like elementary art, um, please go to another um, option that's a little bit more challenging because this uh, website has a lot of really cool ones. So I'm going to go to animation station now. And so this says frame one. So if we created a GIF in class already, uh, you'll understand that that frame is kind of like a layer. Okay, so here I have one. And then I can I'm wondering if I can just simply duplicate it. It doesn't settings full screen. Okay. And then add another one. And another one. And then we can press play. And it shows you it. I could even do, yes, I want to trash it. I could even do, here's the ground, add a new frame. Oh, wait a second. I just trashed that one frame. Ha ha. Okay. And then it starts to grow. It's a leaf. 
and I'm doing it quick. I really want you guys to make sure that you're um, taking your time and um, making it look nice. I just wanted you to see. Um, the option without the video being too long. All right, this is my last frame. And even though I'm using the student Chromebook, I am using a mouse. Um, I just find it easier. Um, so there you go. Looks like his head flattens and turns into a flower. That's that's kind of cool. OK, so I'm going to take because this is an animation, right? I'm not able to save this animation. Um, but what I can do is I can just take a print screen of the last image. And the good thing about that is it shows me all the frames that I've also created. So I'm going to do control and then print screen is the number six. Uh, I'm, it is not the number six. It's the window switcher, which is located above the number six. So I press those two and then it gives me a copy to clipboard. And then I go back to here and I'm getting my cursor. So it's blinking here and I'm doing control V. And I'm going to double click. And I am going to keep that frame 10 so that, um, right, I'm Mrs. Farrell, but so that Mrs. Farrell would know how many frames I actually created. So I would have it like this. And then I would put it here. It's okay that it's um, covering up some of this text. If I wanted to scale it down more, um, I can. And then over here where, remember it says I need to type the one that I chose and I can see up in my tab here that the one that I'm working on is animation station. So I would type, I used animation station to create a, it could be a mini video of a smiling, face turning into the ground and then having a flower grow out of the ground. And then that way, even though I'm not able to see the animation or the viewer isn't able to see the animation um, based on the description over here, I have a better understanding of what is going on. So when I'm grading you guys, I can say, oh, okay, it seems like this student has a clear understanding of this site. Um, so please make sure when you're on this site to, to really check it out, um, play with it. You can go into a couple one of these um, just quick and you might say, oh, that's the one I want to go back to or, um, you know, oh, that one's really not giving me the, the um, product that I want. So Let's see, build blocks, basic shapes, color, stretch, rotate, push, pull, and much more. All right, see, so I've never even been on this site, and this looks really cool. So check out um, check out Toy Theater. Make sure that you're spending some time um, just quickly looking at, you know, three or four of these different options and then picking one to actually create your artwork. And please don't forget, you need to include um, what that... Um, site is that you decided to land on. For me, it was Animation Station.